This is actually take two of scale drawings and models. So a scale drawing or a model is used to represent an object that's too big or too small to be shown in its actual size. So architects use this all the time. Um, engineers use this all the time. They have to uh, make a small figure or drawing before they can build and spend millions and millions of dollars to make the actual product. So this is used in many, many different um, fields in the real world. So the dimensions of the object in the scale drawing or model are proportional to the dimensions of the actual size. So the scale is the ratio of the size of the model to its actual size. And scale is model over actual. And a scale can have the same units or different units. It doesn't matter. It just depends how you set it up. And you can use a scale to find a missing measure on the model or the actual object. You simply set it up and solve a proportion. So if you have been using the tic-tac-toe method, that's actually kind of easier to do because when you set up your tic-tac-toe board, you have the scale and then you have the drawing. Okay, or the scale or the actual you know, you can just put whatever it is you're looking for. Here's the scale, here's the actual. And how is the scale done? What units are it? What units are they? Well, it's two, it's inches and feet. So now when you look inside your tic-tac-toe, you're just looking that this scale, the scale is two inches to seven feet. And if the length of the pool on the drawing is 10 inches, so inches have to go here for the drawing, so we would put 10 here. What is the actual length of the pool? So the actual length, it would be X. So now inches are on the top, feet are on the bottom. Now my proportion is set, so I can use cross products and I get 2X equals 70. X would be equal to 35. Now, this is 35 feet, so 35 feet would be the actual length of the pool, okay? Um, let's take a look at number three, a model car. Um, and if you wanted to do this, you don't have to, um, but here's my scale and I have two and one fourth inch. So, which is 2.25 is three feet. So we got inches and we got feet. If the model is 14 inches long, so I'm going to put 14 along my inch row. What is the actual length? So here I'm looking for the actual is feet. So now I have my proportion set up. I can cross multiply. 14 times three is gonna be 42. And when I divide both sides by 2.25, I get that X is equal to 18.6 repeating. But what is that six, you know, six repeating mean? Um, it's two thirds, right? That's how we would turn it into because six over nine reduces to 18 and two thirds feet would be better in um, fraction form rather than decimal form. Okay, so 18 and two thirds feet. Either way is fine, but this just kind of makes more sense. Okay, number five. Um, so I set up my uh, tic-tac-toe. My scale is inches to feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And I have five inches represent 40 feet. So the wingspan of an airplane is 197 feet. So I can only put 197 where feet is. And now I'm looking for what, how many inches does that represent? So make sure you are consistent in setting these guys up. So now we cross multiply 40 X equals five times 197 is 985. And then when you divide both sides by 40, I get X equals 24.625 inches, which is really 24 and 5 eighths inch if I converted them. Again, either way is okay. I just wanna make sure you're setting up those proportions correctly and make sure you're labeling your answer. Okay, let's do a couple more. So on number seven, if you can see that, all right. Let me set up my tic-tac-toe board, my scale. So an artist painted a six foot tall print, uh, painting, then decided to also create a smaller version. If she uses a scale of four inches to feet, so four inches represents 1.5 feet, what will be the height of the smaller painting? So she's really got two smaller paintings, right? She's got one in inches and one in feet. So we want to know the height of the smaller painting and it's six feet. 
is the um, the tall one. So now my proportions are set up, inches are on top, feet are on bottom, and now I cross multiply, so 1.5x equals 24, and I divide one um, both sides by 1.5, and so I get x equals 16 inches. So the small painting will be 16 inches. Okay, if you look at number nine, a tiny statue of John, Tom Brady is two and eight fifteenths inches tall. If the statue uses a scale, here I go, it's a scale of inches to feet, and it's one inch to 2.5 feet, what is Tom Brady's actual height? Now, the tiny statue is two and eight fifteenths inches tall. So we know if we put it in the calculator, it's easier to work with decimals. So to you know convert this into a decimal, you would do eight divided by 15, and that comes to 2.53 repeating, okay? So just put 2.53 in your calculator, and then we're looking for the actual how tall is Tom Brady. So when we cross multiply, I have one times X equals 2.53 times um, 2.5 is gonna be 6.3 feet repeating. Now here's the deal. Would you ever tell somebody that they're 6.3 feet repeating? No. What is three repeating? Well, there's 12 inches in a foot. So three inches out of the 12 would be four inches, right? Three out of 12 would be four inches, not three inches out of four. Um, but uh, that would be four inches. So six feet, four inches is how tall Tom Brady really is, okay? Um, all right, so same thing here down at the bottom when you're finding the scale. It says to find the scale of a drawing or model, we write the ratio of the model length to the actual length. So it's model to actual, always in that order. And then we simplify the, rate, the numerator where it's one. So it's just like we did when unit measurements. Um, unit rate. So the model is going to be nine inches and the actual is 45 feet. So I know that nine goes into both of these guys. So I'm going to divide nine, nine, and I get one fifth. So one inch to five feet. So I reduce that, um, I reduce that length. Okay. All right. Um, Let's look at 13. So two cities are 750 miles apart. Um, if they are eight inches apart, so remember it's model to actual. So I get the model is eight inches, eight inches to 750 miles. So when I reduce that, um, I can have one over 93.75. And again, you can divide 750 divided by eight. It's um, now, instead of my denominator being one, I want my numerator to be one, right? Because it's one over something. So if you divide 750 divided by eight, that's gonna give you that 93.75. And that was the same. It was easier to recognize it up here to get my numerator to be one. Same thing, look what you're doing. You're dividing by eight here to get one, and then you're dividing by eight. So whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. So now it says that one inch is gonna be 93.75 miles, okay? So if you have questions or need some help, just come and see me.